Hey, you guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Ray, and God is using me in this season of my life to be a prophetic voice in regards to kingdom marriages. With everything that I say, take it back to God in prayer. Make sure this word is pertaining to you in this season of your life. But you all, I'm back uh, again with another word I want to share with you all. And this is part two to a word that I released yesterday in regards to the month of May being the month of miracles, divine miracles, divine answers to prayer. And I took you all to the book of Daniel chapter 10. And we had read, and go back and watch that video for yourself. That way you can catch up on this video where we're at right now. So pause this video because you need to get full re revelation and go back to the video that I posted yesterday. But I read Daniel chapter 10 verses 10 through 14 and how the angel of the Lord came to Daniel with answers to his prayer and how God is saying in this season of your life in the month of May, okay, we in the last quarter, okay? And I was like, God, we in the last quarter. You know, I didn't get any of this at the beginning of May. Now you're, you know, you're revealing to me that yes, you know, in this last quarter, this last week and a few days that we have in the month of May, God is about to show up and show out, you guys. Begin to claim it. Begin to decree. Begin to declare it. Answered prayers are coming in the month of May. And just like in the book of Daniel, the angel of the Lord came for the words of Daniel. God is getting ready to come for your words. God is getting ready to come in answer to your prayer. Blessings are being ready to, uh, getting ready to drop from heaven in regards to your prayers. You have been praying. You have been faithful in your prayer life. You have been interceding. You have been standing for your kingdom marriage. You have been fasting. You have been um, in God's word. You may not have been 100% all the time, but you have not given up. You have not thrown in the towel. You have not turned back. You have been standing on the promises of God. You have been standing on that vision that God gave you. You have been standing on that spoken word that God gave you. You have been standing on that dream that God has given you. God is saying in this season that that vision was for an appointed time, that it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it. Though it tarries, wait for it because it will speak and it will not lie. That dream was for an appointed time. Though it tarries, it will speak and it will not lie. That spoken word that he spoke over your life was for an appointed time. Though it tarries, wait for it because it will speak and it will not line. Manifestation of the promise is coming into full fruition in this season, in the month of May specifically. God is getting ready to show up. God is getting ready to show out. God is getting ready to perform a miracle. Those things that you have been praying about in regards to your kingdom, husband, those strongholds have been broken in Jesus' name. The grip of the enemy has been broken in Jesus' name. No demon, no witches, no spells, no nothing can stop what God is getting ready to do in your kingdom marriage, in your kingdom spouse. Even right now in this hour, the enemy grip has been broken. He has no more control over your kingdom husband. He has no more control over your kingdom wife. The control that he had in one season he no longer has that control because May is going to be the month of divine miracles. May is going to be the month of divine intervention. May is going to be the month of divine reversals. God is getting ready to come for your words. Angels have been dispatched with an answer to your prayers. God is saying, continue to stand, continue to believe because do not be surprised when he comes with an answer to your prayers. It's going to be unexpected. You're not going to expect it. It's going to be when you least expect it. Communication is going to be restored in Jesus' name. 
and it's not going to look like, it may not look like what you expect it to look like, but God is saying, don't, don't fear. Don't, it, uh, don't think it's not him because it does not look the way that you expected it to look. Because communication is getting ready to be restored in this season. God is saying, be patient with your kingdom spouse. Be patient with how he chooses to bring him back into your life. The communication may not be all the way there the way you want it to be, but God is still working behind the scenes. The grip of the enemy has been broken. So the enemy does ha not have any control in this season whatsoever. He has been cut off completely. He has reached his boundary. The boundary has been drawn and God is saying, that's it. That is it. That is it. The enemy cannot go any further with your kingdom spouse. The counterfeit is being removed in this season. Miracles are being released. And so some of you may have already started to get communication from your kingdom spouse. And perhaps it's not all the way where you want it to be, okay? Maybe the communication is going really, really slowly, right? You're starting to get that those text messages or those phone calls or whatever the way of communication may be for your life specifically. But perhaps it's going really, really slow, right? And it's not looking like the way you're, you expected it to be. Don't force it and don't push it. Allow it to flow because the Holy Spirit is now in control. OK, the Holy Spirit is now in control and your kingdom spouse is now being submitted to the will of God and the Holy Spirit moving on his behalf. So allow the Lord to work as he pleases. Don't try to rush things. Don't try to push things. But let things flow naturally because God is in control. Divine miracles have been released. Answered prayers have been released. You may have been praying for a long time, but God has come for your word in this season. I'm expecting by the end of May, a divine miracle in my personal life. And in regards to my kingdom marriage, I've been standing, I've been fasting. And if you choose to stand with me and fast with me in this last quarter, quarter, in this last quarter, in this last stretch, like I made in the previous videos, coming back again, we are in the final stretch. We are in the final stretch. We are in the final stretch, you guys. And for those of you who want to stand in agreement for the month of May for divine miracles, and you want to use this last week in a few days to take out time in your day to really just fast and to really just, you know, petition heaven and just stand in regard to your kingdom marriage or whatever it is that you've been asking God for, that you've been petitioning heaven for, and you've been waiting on those answered prayers. And God is saying you are loved by him and he has come for your word. That vision, that dream, that spoken word was for an appointed time. Though it tarries, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, for it will speak and it will not lie. Everything that God promised you. Everything that God spoke over your life, help me, Father. Everything that God told you was going to happen is going to happen. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not a man that he should lie. You are finally, you are finally at the front of the line. And for those of you who this message is for, you can feel it in the spiritual realm. You are at the front of the line. God is getting ready to perform a miracle in your life and in regards to your kingdom marriage. And the way that God does it, do not be surprised. Do not be shocked. Do not be, you know, like feeling like, hey, this is just weird. God is working behind the scenes and it may not look like what you expected it to, but be patient. Let patience have its perfect work. God now has full control of your kingdom spouse. He has full control in this season of your kingdom spouse. Your kingdom spouse is walking in alignment with God's will. 
Your kingdom spouse is giving his yes to God. He's no longer running like Jonah. God came back the second time around and now your kingdom spouse is saying, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. He's no longer rejecting the will of God. He's no longer rejecting the Holy Spirit's work in his life. He is willing to submit to God's will, okay? He may be struggling with, you know, the communication right now and just his confidence and just, you know, his insecurities or whatever he may be battling with uh, inwardly. Okay. But God is going to work through him. God, the Holy Spirit is working in him. The Holy Spirit is working through him to give him that boldness, to give him that courage. Okay. But you have to be patient with the process. It's not going to all just happen just like that. It's a process. It took a process to get to this point and it's going to take a process to get to the next level. But just know God has come for your words. He's heard your prayer since the first time that you prayed. He heard your prayer, just like in Daniel chapter 10. He heard your prayer since the first time you prayed. And it may look like, or you may feel like, hey, you know, all these other seasons and these months and these years that I've been praying and praying and praying for this thing to happen and nothing happened. Well, it just wasn't your time then. It just wasn't your season then, but this is your time. This is your season. For, for those of you, this message is for, you will know and the Holy Spirit will give you revelation to discern. This is your time now. Don't stop praying now. You're right there. Don't stop fasting now. You are at the brink of a breakthrough. I give the enemy any foothold. Do not give the enemy a foothold to come back in to plant seeds of doubt, to plant seeds of discouragement and disbelief. Do not give the enemy a foothold by giving up now. You've come too far by faith to give up now. You are at the end of the road. You are at the final stretch divine miracles are being released. Angels have been assigned to you with a word from the Lord in regards to your prayer. Your kingdom husband is being released back to you. He's being released to God first and then from there he is being released back to you and God is giving him divine instructions on how to approach you and how to speak to you. So it may be a little bit rocky at first because perhaps, you know, of course, you know, we're human. So the flesh may be getting involved. OK. And it may be causing a little bit of delay or a little bit of friction or things may not be moving as smoothly as you expect it. But God is working. Begin to continue to pray over your kingdom husband. Pray for his courage. Pray for his strength. Pray for a Holy Ghost boldness. That God would give him the words to say. That God would give him peace in his heart and his mind. Remove that spirit of abandonment, the spirit of rejection, that spirit of fear. And give him the spirit of love and of joy and of peace and of sound mind. Because it's a process and he still needs your prayers. Just because the communication has been restored doesn't mean like, oh, okay, well, it's, it's, it's up from here, you know. You know, it's up from here. The communication has been restored. So now everything's just going to be perfect now because the communication has been restored. No, it's still a process. God is going to make everything perfect and everything beautiful in his timing. But you still have to go through the necessary steps to get to that point. This last and final quarter, you guys, is essential. And it's so important that we do not back down. Just because you see a little bit of light, don't, don't pull back. Stay consistent in whatever you were doing. Keep doing it. Keep doing it because your prayers are what's moving the hand of God. Your prayers are what is being answered. God is coming in answer to your prayers, just like in the book of Daniel. He's coming in answer to your prayers, which means you have to keep praying because that is how we reach heaven is through our prayers. That's how we communicate with God is through our prayers. Your prayers are what's working. Your prayers are what is breaking the grip of the enemy. Your prayers is what's breaking those strongholds in your kingdom husband life. Begin to continue, continue, continue to pray over him. Whatever addictions that he might be holding on to. 
Continue to pray that those strongholds are released. He may be dealing with the spirit of lust. He may be dealing with the spirit of pornography still. Whatever it is that he still may be battling with. Yes, the communication might be there, but he may still have demonic spirits still attached to him that needs to be broken. Those strongholds still need to be broken. It's a process. Miracles are being released on behalf of your prayers. The month of May is a month of miracles for a lot of you, but we have to endure to the end, to the end. God said the promise is here, but you have to be willing to endure to the end. And we're not at the end yet, okay? We have a week and a few days left. We have a week and a few days left. As a matter of fact, my birthday is May the 29th. So I'm like, God, I am praying for a divine miracle, either on my birthday or before the end of the month. And God has already showed up. And I'm, I'm not going to speak on that right now because I can't tell y'all everything at one time. So little by little, as the Holy Spirit releases me to share certain things in regards to my personal testimony, I will. But for right now, you guys, we have to remain consistent. We have to stay focused. It's not time to give up. It's not time to relax and say, oh, I got communication with my kingdom spouse now, so I could just lay back and chillax. No, you need to fight even harder in the spirit for your kingdom spouse because he's still struggling. He's still struggling. And that's why God called you out way before the manifestation of the promise so that you could be there to intercede and pray your husband through. Your job is not over with. And even as a wife, you're going to have to continue to pray for your husband. So get used to doing it right now. Like get used to praying and keep praying. You don't stop praying. You keep praying. Your job as a prayer warrior does not stop because you see a little spark, because you see a little light, because you see some of those prayers being answered. No, you got to continue to pray. You got to continue to, to pray. To every stronghold is broken. To you, to you see for yourself. You got to pray until you see for yourself the physical manifestation of that promise. There's no more delays in this season. You are being ushered into the front of the line. You are no longer in the back of the line. You are in the front of the line. So you have to act like you're in the front of the line. You're not on the back seats watching anymore. You have front row seats in this season, so act like it. You have front row seats in this season to behold the miracle of the Lord. God is giving you front row seats. The miracle is yours. The answer prayer is yours, but you have to be ready to receive it. And you have to be ready to endure to the end. God is moving in this season. God is moving in this hour. Help me, Lord. And he's working all things together for the good. To them that love the Lord. To them that are called according to his purpose. God is not a man that he should lie. Every word that he has spoken over your life is yes and amen. Everything that he promised, everything that he said that he's going to do, he's going to do it. It is already yours. You have to claim it and you have to receive it. The boundaries have been set. The enemy can no longer disrupt what God is trying to do. He's done for. He's done for in Jesus name. God is in charge and he's been in charge, but he's about to show you what he's been doing all along. Continue to stand, continue to pray, continue to intercede, you guys. And if you want to partner with me in this last week and a few days of just fasting and praying and really just petitioning heaven and standing with me in the month of May, we're in the final quarter. God is getting ready to perform a miracle in my life. I'm claiming it for me. You have to claim it for you. You have to be willing to stand and fight for it in Jesus' name. I love you guys, and I will see you the next time the Lord sends me back with another word. Bye.